button or buttonhole? Paddleboarding, treadmill desks, and fitness trackers on steroids. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beat. Steroids, fitness trackers. That probably wasn't the best combo. Now we know why you look so good. <laughs> So Geek Beat is brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Happy Monday, everybody! I hope you had some fun this weekend. I sure did. I was able to get out on a lake with some friends. You guys know I got into stand-up paddleboarding last year and bought a board. It's great exercise and a lot of fun. Scott Ellis, Scott Cublin, Terry Green, and his daughter Anna learned some fun new tricks, like the hybrid stance, which allows you to get to the back of the board and turn at a sharper angle. is what that was supposed to look like. The next stance we're gonna talk about is the hybrid stance. In the hybrid stance, my front foot is still pointed forward just like in the neutral position. But my back foot has moved back and is angled at about 45 degrees. My heel is along the center line of the board. And what this does is it allows me to rotate the board edge to edge and it also still allows me to balance nose to tail. But hey, you gotta fall down a few times before you can master something, right? Scott Ellis was testing a waterproof phone case from X1. And next weekend, I'll be putting the Sadio waterproof case to the test, so look out for those reviews soon. Let me know if you're interested in more reviews from the water and what you'd like to hear about. Accessories, uh, board cleaners, what? Speaking of getting a little exercise, many of you have been asking for some updates after my Rebel Desk treadmill review and wanted to know how many calories I'm actually burning and if I'm actually using it anymore and all that good stuff. So I've been wearing my heart rate monitor every day while working and keeping track. So first of all, yes, I'm still loving it. The joy of being able to get a little exercise in while working is still strong for me. I don't know what it is. I mean, Jeff Dwelly works my butt off at the gym. You'd think I'd get enough, but I find that once I begin exercise, I really get antsy if I'm not doing it. Oh, so the treadmill, it helps. You do it backwards? Yeah. I've learned how to do it backwards by because everybody keeps coming in here and talking to me. <laughs> how many calories a day are you burning? Around average 400. She's just showing off now. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. I learned how illiterate I am when I try to talk. Oh, wow. Whoa, yeah, she fell. The first week after having my Rebel Dust treadmill, I stayed right at one mile an hour. Remember, it goes from half a mile to two miles an hour. That was easy to walk and get work done. Then I ramped it up to two miles an hour, and after getting used to that, I literally cannot walk at half a mile an hour anymore. It's harder to walk slower than faster. If you keep up with it, your fitness level increases, your stamina builds, and you might just find that the old way of doing things, like sitting down at your desk, is just no longer an option option. And hey, that combined with a healthy eating style, you might even see some weight fall off. My standing heart rate, when I'm literally just standing and working at my desk and not fiddling around, moving my arms about, <laughs> is about 67 to 70 beats per minute. Walking two miles an hour increases my heart rate from 81 to 92 beats per minute. With my schedule as crazy as it's been lately with the new geek house and lots and lots of meetings and all sorts of stuff going on around here, I've only been able to manage about two hours hours total on the treadmill in one day, which is way less than I expected it to be. But again, I'm running around and not at my desk a lot. With those two hours though, I'm burning an extra 250 calories in a day and walking a little over three and a half miles. Of course, I'm also going to the gym every day for Geek Fit program. Men, you'll burn more calories with the same amount of time because men weigh more than women. Of course. <laughs> the one thing I will say... <laughs> Dang. 
<laughs> the one thing I will say is that you could use an online calculator for determining how many calories you burn with this thing. You input your weight and time spent walking and how fast you were going, but I will caution you, only use it as a guideline. These calculators are clocking my calories in almost double than what I actually burn. So if you really want to be accurate, get a heart rate monitor. I'm certainly not as cold during the day as I used to be. That's a good thing. That's a godsend really because I used to never be able to warm up. I was always bundled up with three layers of jackets. If you run warm naturally though, you will run a little warmer by walking throughout the day. So get a small desk fan or lower the AC and that'll help. Now let's talk about concentration. You can indeed concentrate on work while walking at the same time. A lot of you are very skeptical about that. After observing many, many people test it out, I've come to the conclusion that it will depend on your level of comfort with the treadmill in the first place. I've spent a lot of time on treadmills in my lifetime and I get bored on them. So I have been known to answer a few emails or do some work on my phone while on the machine. I know, I know I should be concentrating on working out, but whatever. So it's an easy transition for me. If you're not as comfortable moving on these types of machines, you can still do it. It'll take a little bit more of an adjustment period, but again, you start at half a mile an hour and work your way up. Remember, all that matters is that you're doing something. You guys are my inspiration for continuing this forward motion with Geek Fit. There are lots of you who are joining along and getting in shape, and I love it. And I'm glad that we can all inspire each other. That is, after all, what community is all about, right? It only takes three seconds to encourage someone else, either with a warm smile or clicking the thumbs up on their social post. It also takes only three seconds to buckle your seatbelt and save your life. You never know what can happen on the road, so take a quick moment to snap that buckle in. My sister was rear-ended by an 18-wheeler years ago. She suffered some lasting physical pain from it, but you know what? She's alive and she didn't cause her son, my nephew Loki, to become an orphan. He already lost his dad to cancer. That would have been the last thing he needed. For that, I'm very thankful. The police will be out in force making sure you're staying safe. So click it or tick it. Say it with me. Click, click it, it or, or tick, tick it. it even in the back seat. Since we're talking about fitness related stuff today, why not go all out and just make it a fitness show since we're here already? Why not? <laughs> you guys remember when I had Peter on the show to talk about Atlas wearables a while back? It was the first fitness tracker that promised to track individual exercises in addition to calories burned and steps taken. Now there's another Indiegogo campaign with a similar product that's really piqued my interest. It's called the Gym Watch. Their sensor measures strength and motion regardless of whether you're doing cardio or free weights using your body weight or on a machine. If you're doing bicep curls, it'll know that you only did a partial rep or a full rep. If you're lifting too quickly and losing form, there's a coach that'll help you correct yourself and give you encouragement. Way to go. Fantastic job. <laughs> it tracks the amount of strength you use to kick off an exercise. Your explosive strength, your speed strength, it can help you determine how much weight you should put on the bar so you can maximize your gym time or so you don't hurt yourself. It sounds awesome if you ask me. They only have five days left in their campaign if it sounds awesome to you and it's $159. Okay, that is a lot and I'm exhausted just thinking about all this exercise. Keep encouraging each other in the forums at geekbeat.tv slash forums. Thank you so much for watching and for being a part of the Geek Beat family. I'm Callie Lewis, bye. Thank <laughs> you.